Yes, they are sunning themselves. Look at them. Isn't that wonderful? I'm afraid we are not able to tell you what the steel bit of the Maasai sword is uh, is called. We can try that uh, a little bit later. I'll try and find out. I'll actually take a, my little Maasai sword and try and ask somebody what the different parts of it are called. Not sure what relevance that had. I assume that the uh, leopard was fought off with, with the aid of the Maasai sword. Our little lion cubs now coming out to do much the same as the Mwanza was doing, just basking in the last rays of the sun. We've probably got about 20 minutes or so until the sun sinks down below the horizon. And that means these little cubbies will probably then, I guess, disappear inside if the mums don't come back. Yeah, Dave, I'd say you're absolutely right. You say one in three lion cubs. Is it true that one in three lion cubs only uh, make it through the first year? I'd say that's absolutely correct. One in ten adult or males will make it to adulthood, and probably one in eight females will make it to adulthood. So once they're over the first year, that's not necessarily, you know, all, all the way there. They haven't done all the hard work. And only one in ten males will make it to become big territorial males who sire their own cubs. So really, they are up against it, these little things. Look. Karen, you're wondering about how many males there are and how many females there are, and do we know? The answer is no, we don't know. Uh, I suspect quite strongly that what we have here is, uh, you know, uh, in theory it should be it should be four and five, according to the laws of statistics and probability, but it might be different from that. I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember. I seem to remember when we had six cubs with the Inkohuma pride. I seem to remember there being only two males in that group. I mean, that's not entirely unusual. It's not impossible. You can work out the probabilities, though. It's most likely that there are four and five here, of one or the other. But there is no skewed sex ratio at birth, as far as I'm aware. Somebody told me once that sable antelope have a skewed ra ratio of more females to males, and I didn't think that that was true. But if somebody can help me with that, that would be fascinating. I don't know of any mammals that, and I imagine there must be some. I'm not sure what the mechanism would be, but I suppose there could be, evolution could provide, have provided a mechanism by which a, uh, there could be some kind of preponderance. In human beings, of course, it's a 50-50 birth ratio uh, on average. And in, I'd be fascinated to know if there are any mammals that are by default not, say, 40 or 40, 60 or something like that. If anyone could tell me that, that would also be very fascinating. I don't understand, I wouldn't understand the mechanism of how it happens, but it would be very interesting. <laughs> this, a light like this, you will not beat. And my only regret about this sighting is that I do not have a long, long lens on the end of my camera so that I may take lots of illegal photographs close up to those lions in the gorgeous light. Now, there seems to be some conflict at Juma, or some potential conflict. I'm hoping desperately that the smaller of the combatants will, uh, will escape any conflict. So let's head back to Steph and find out how that's going to play out. <laughs> 